the 6th of November 2022. The crypto world is on the brink of a disaster that no one sees coming. At the heart of it is FTX. More than just a crypto exchange, it's a juggernaut, shaking hands with celebrities like Tom Brady and Steph Curry, sealing deals worth hundreds of millions of dollars, and led by a CEO who's been hailed as the genius of the digital age. Sam Bankman Fried isn't just running a company, he's shaping the future of finance. But behind the scenes, a dark secret is about to explode. A chilling report emerges, hinting that the golden empire is built on lies. Bankman Fried, the crypto wonder kid, has been playing with fire, using customer funds to gamble through his shadowy other company, Alameda Research. The house of cards begins to tremble. Within days, the unthinkable happens. FTX, poised to become the biggest name in crypto, implodes. Billions of dollars, your dollars, vanish into the digital ether. This isn't just a company going bankrupt, it's a betrayal on a cosmic scale. And I personally felt it as I was one of the millions that actually lost money. Imagine logging into your account and seeing nothing. Your life savings, your kids' college fund, your dreams of financial freedom, all gone. In the blink of an eye, millions face this nightmare. But in this digital wasteland, one unlikely survivor emerges, Solana. Once seen as FTX's golden child, it now stands at a crossroads. Will it be dragged down by its association with one of the biggest frauds in crypto history? Or can it pull off the impossible? The Phoenix rises, Solana's unlikely triumph. The fall of FTX wasn't just a market crash. It was an extension level event that left the crypto world gasping in a vacuum of trust and value. Billions vanish, dreams shattered, trust obliterated. As the crypto world teetered on the edge, questions loomed. How could Solana possibly survive a blow that nearly wiped out its future? Yet, against all odds, Solana didn't just survive, it clawed its way back from the abscess and found a way to thrive. The blockchain that refused to die. From the wreckage of FTX, Solana emerged, not as a casualty, but as a fighter, redefining resilience in the unforgiving world of crypto. This isn't just a story of how it narrowly avoided collapse. It's a tale of a blockchain that from its inception in 2017 defied the impossible. Once dismissed as a wild experiment, Solana evolved into a DeFi powerhouse and a haven for NFTs, earning names like the Ethereum killer and the fastest blockchain on the planet. Solana's rise wasn't just extraordinary, it was a high-speed rebellion against the odds. The secret source, speed beyond imagination. Solana's superpower, speed. We're talking blink of an eye, faster than thought, did that really just happen? Kind of speed. Imagine sending a text to the moon and getting a reply before your finger even leaves the screen. That's Solana fast. But speed is just the beginning of this story. Meet the mastermind, Anatoly Yakovenko. Enter Anatoly, the founder and architect behind Solana's groundbreaking design. Picture this, a tech veteran with over a decade at Qualcomm, building systems that push the boundaries of performance. Anatoly didn't just see the flaws in existing blockchains. He envisioned a solution that would leave them in the dust. Solana versus a competition. While other blockchains wheeze and sputter under heavy loads like an old car climbing a steep hill, Solana zips along, handling tsunamis of transactions without breaking a sweat. Well, for the most part. More on that later. But it's not just about the tech. Solana's journey hasn't been all smooth sailing. We'll dive deeper into the nitty gritty of blockchain wizardry later. Right now, we need to talk about the financial bloodbath that nearly wiped Solana off the map. When numbers turn into nightmares, Let's break down the end of 2022 with some simple math that hits hard. Imagine buying an Amazon stock for $500. If you sell at $600, you're popping champagne. But if it plummets to $400, that's the kind of loss that keeps you up at night. I mean, you should not have bought it, right? Now brace yourself for Solana's roller coaster. November 5th, 2022. Sol is trading at $36. A month later, Sol grasping for air at $8. Do the math. That's a 77% nosedive. If you bought 100 Sol, your $3,600 investment just shriveled to a measly $800. That wasn't just a bad day at the office, it was financial Armageddon. Companies crumbled, bankruptcies happened, life savings evaporated, dreams of crypto riches turned to digital dust. The human mind can't deal with this. The mind gets depressed, the people lose their home, they think all is over. The collapse of FTX didn't just erase numbers on a screen, it shattered trust crushed hopes and left millions questioning everything they thought they knew about the future of finance. But this isn't where Solana's story ends. It's where its resilience begins. Solana's comeback isn't just a story of survival. It's a masterclass in innovation and adaptability. But let's be clear. 
Blazing fast transactions alone do not make a blockchain king. There are faster blockchains or blockchains that can do more transactions per second. To put everything into perspective though, some blockchains take minutes to process a single transaction. Solana, it blinks and it's done. Half a second and your digital assets are zooming across the network. Also, it's cheap. Some transactions can cost tens or hundreds of dollars to do. Solana is normally less than one cent. Anatoly's goal was a network that doesn't just process transactions at lightning speed, but scales effortlessly to serve millions of users. How many people in the world can literally use a blockchain if it's gonna cost $10 or hundreds of dollars per transaction? That's just not realistic. This wasn't about incremental improvement. It was about reimagining what a blockchain could be. The vision went beyond raw speed. He aimed to create a platform robust enough to withstand any storm, even one as devastating as the FTX collapse, an event so catastrophic it could have toppled entire financial systems. As you'll learn in future videos, crypto is far more than just meme coins and number go up. A crypto blockchain should exist for the future and maybe even to other planets like Mars. So how did Solana not just weather the storm, but emerge stronger? The answer lies in a powerful trifecta, technical brilliance, innovative solutions that address the core limitations of blockchain technology, community power, a vibrant ecosystem of developers and users who believed in Solana's potential, and adaptability, the ability to pivot, innovate, and evolve in the face of unprecedented challenges. One big thing that helped us out of the mess was a little orange dog. You can watch that video at the end of this one though. Solana turned potential disaster into a launch pad for innovation. However, innovation takes time. And this is what we can see happen throughout 2023 until October. Not a lot of users and the price of Sol was low. That was boring stuff. Understanding the blockchain magic. Now that we've seen Solana weather the storm, let's break down some basics. What exactly is a blockchain? And what makes Solana's approach different? We'll keep it simple and cover a few ideas that make this technology tick. What's a blockchain anyway? Think of a blockchain like a massive Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet. It's a giant unchangeable book where every transaction is recorded in real time. But instead of being managed by one person, this book is shared across thousands of computers worldwide, making it incredibly secure and transparent. Each page of this spreadsheet is called a block. And every time a new transaction occurs, it gets added to the latest block. Once a block is full of data, it links up with the previous one, forming a long, unbreakable chain. Hence, blockchain. So what's a block? A block is like a data container. It stores information about transactions, such as who sent what to whom and when. But once it's filled and added to the chain, it's there forever and can't be altered. Imagine it like writing in ink on a page. You can't erase or change it. That is what makes blockchains so reliable and secure. Every transaction is permanently etched in history. Solana's secret weapon. Solana's unique proof of history acts like a cryptographic clock, timestamping every transaction to prove its order before validators even step in. A validator is just one of the high-tech computers. Remember that earlier? There's thousands of these validators on the Solana network. Think of proof of history as a super precise stopwatch that records events instantly, making Solana lightning fast by eliminating delays in transaction processing. It's like having an automatic timekeeper that ensures everything happens in the right order without the wait. We can cover this in a future video if you like, but all you need to know for now is Solana is actually fast. And even with heaps of people using the blockchain, it works. Solana outages, the chain broke. Despite its impressive speed and innovation, Solana has faced a series of high profile outages that highlight its growing pains. These network disruptions, often caused by overwhelming transaction volumes or technical bugs, have temporarily halted Solana's operations, sparking criticism about its stability. While Solana's team has been quick to address these issues with upgrades and patches, the outages serve as a reminder that even the fastest blockchains can stumble. In fact, many blockchains have. For Solana, these challenges are part of the trade-off in pushing the boundaries of blockchain performance, but they underscore the need for continued improvements in reliability and resilience. Since 2021, the blockchain has had 14 outages. Expected in December this year, we should have new tech that reduces outage chance much lower. As I said before, many other blockchains have outages and they definitely shouldn't. This just proves that even though you didn't buy BTC at $100, you are still early to crypto. The road ahead, Solana's next big leap. Solana's journey has been a roller coaster packed with rapid highs, dramatic lows, and relentless innovation. But if you think Solana is slowing down, think again. It's not just the Solana Foundation. We have dApps like Camino Finance that allow you to earn more tokens. And we have Jupiter Exchange. If you don't know Jupiter Exchange, 
it's the best way to get more tokens for less dollars because it connects every blockchain app together that does buys and sells. So ensure you try it out. It's where you can get your favorite tokens and favorite meme coins like Bonk and Whiff. By the way, we have a video on meme coins. Give that a watch. I mean, $100 into $1.2 million in a couple of months. That's the story of Whiff. You definitely need to watch that. Wrapping up, the Solana revolution is just beginning. From a sketch on a whiteboard to a blockchain powerhouse, Solana has defied the odds. It's challenging norms, disrupting the status quo, and pushing blockchain technology to new limits. Whether you're a diehard fan or a skeptical observer, one thing's clear. Solana is a force to be reckoned with. But what's your take? Is Solana set to revolutionize blockchain, or is it just another overhyped project waiting for its bubble to burst? We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts in the comments below, join the debate, and let's see where this journey takes us next. The future of blockchain could be shaped by what happens next with Solana. Don't miss out on the conversation.